back so soon to Tome and the T Engine. Yes, we are. Not to Tome, but to the T Engine with an important addition you might be able to see in the bottom right corner. In the installed games, versus only Tome and ODE, which we had before, is now Bone to be Wild. No, this is not me just saying, holy fuck, it's so cool that the T Engine has access to these modules. Although, holy fuck, it's so cool that the T Engine has access to these modules. It's actually because um, we are moving on in our chronological rediscovery of the old 7DRL contests. Uh, I've mentioned now several times, if you've been following the channel, that there was, much to my uh, amazement, a 7-day roguelike contest between the 7-day roguelike contest of 2005 and that of 2007. This was called the Orange October Minigun 7DRL Contest of 2006. Looking at the Rogue Basin here, it looks like there was a... Uh, at least listed successfully, uh, six um, games, huh, including one called Berserk. We just talked about that in the last uh, <laughs> in the last uh, video, just pure coincidentally. Um, and it looks like there was uh, four that are listed as failures. We will still look for those four failures because, uh, as we've seen before, a failed 7DRL contest game does not mean a failed 7DRL game. Um, but we're going to look at the six that are listed as successful first and see how many we can find. The first one listed is Bone to be Wild by Dark God, a module for the T-Engine. Uh, to finish off my thoughts on the 2006 minigun contest, it says right here, despite the fact that the 7DRL challenge is supposed to occur once per year, the idea arose to hold another one in October. Twelve developers participated, and seven of these returned a week later with success. Did I say seven? Did I say six? It says seven returned with a success, and it lists the six successes, so... I don't know what that means. At least one person set aside this time to work on a pre-existing roguelike. All right, well maybe maybe that's what it was. Maybe the maybe the seventh guy was working on a pre-existing one, and therefore they didn't list it here. I don't know. In any event, uh, the first up on our hit list in the Orange October Minigun 70 RL contest of 2006 is Bone to Be Wild. Now, what can I tell you about this? Um, I will include a link to where you can find this at that site. You will also, uh, if I have the link right. Uh, find uh, some information which I have personally grabbed from that site and patched into a text file, so I'll always have it. So here's what we know about this game. Introduction, Chapter 1. Summoning Gone Wrong. A crazy, inexperienced necromancer tries to summon an undead, but the spell fails and the undead is released from the necromancer will. Necro necromancer's will, I guess? That undead is you! You set out to explore your surroundings and to conquer the world because somehow, deep down, you feel that is what undeads do. So you start collecting souls. Um, this is version 1.0.8. Um, with some bug fixes. Uh, la 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 la. Um, if you download it, I'll tell you how to set it up. It's very simple. Uh, you'll, you'll download a, a, T -E -A, a, a team file. Dot T-E-A-M. You want to just drop that into... Uh, if you go into... Let me look and see. In Tome. If you've downloaded Tome 3. If you have the Tome 3 thing. Go into the games... Uh, fuck, I'm speaking gibberish. Yep, go into the game. The game folder. Inside the game folder, you'll find a folder called modules. Just dump it in there. Dump the TAM file in there, and it'll automatically uh, detect it for you. You don't have to add it into another folder or anything like that. Just put it in there. Okay, back to what I was babbling about otherwise. Um, so what do we know here? Um, you have no experience, no level, no nothing. This only power... This only power that a true undead needs are souls. Uh, there's a few typos here. Slash, again, I'm not sure English is uh, Dark God's first language. Souls come in many types and shapes. Weak, st string, innocent, or not. And all have a purpose for the undead. The spell that summoned you to this plane was quite unpleasant for you and reduced your power quite a bit. The only way to regain it is to kill people and take their souls to improve yourself. Souls have two main purposes. Improving or learning new abilities or spells. And it tells us a bit about that here. I've already seen a lot of this. Let's dive in and see how it works. Have I played it yet? I have not. Am I going to let that stop me? No, I'm not. Let's pull this to the side. And let's press A for play a new game. Of Bone to be Wild. Using the directional arrow to go down to Bone to be Wild. Here it tells you right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that was <laughs> not entirely intimidating. That sounded like a drunken 16 year old being scary. Um, but that's cool. Dark God for the October 2006 7 DRL contest. It's awesome that it has sound, though. Uh, I didn't know sound was capable in a T engine. Great. Uh, some, summoning Gun Wrong, chapter 1. Pressing key to continue. Get your curses running. Oh, I get it. Get your curses running. 
Headed off the tower, looking for adventure, and whatever comes my way. Yeah, darling, I'm gonna make it happen. I take the world in a death embrace. I fire all of your spells at once now. I explode into space. I like the smoke and lightning. Oh, I got the wrong. I like smoke and lightning. Heavy metal thunder. I'm racing with the dead. And the feeling that I'm under. Yeah, darling, I'm gonna make it happen. I take the world in a death embrace. I fire all of your spells at once now. Exploding the spines like a true undead child. We were born, born to be wild. We can climb so high. Never wanna live. Born to be wild. Press the key. And there we go. Born to be wild. Welcome to it. Blah blah blah. The story we've already read this like several times. Uh, at least I have. Sucking souls. Randomly kill people and absorb their souls. Yummy. Movement is using the... I mean, move my cursor away from here. I don't need this mouse. Um, use a numpad. Up downstairs. Uh, control X is save and quit. We're not going to do that right now. G. Use souls to gain new abilities. Very important. M. Cast spells learned by abilities. O. Open door. C. Close door. C, capital C. Character sheet. Quest log. Cool. Look around. At. Bind actions to keys. I like the fact that the T engine seems to in include natively the ability to rebind keys at your leisure. That's... Very, very um, awesome and forward thinking. Control P, view message history, just like gang band. Skip your turn. Uh, auto key bindings. When you select an unused key, you'll be prompted. If you want to bind an action, you should you should bind mo your most used spells for quick access. Okay. Undeads do not rest. Undeads do not regenerate hit points. You start with a healing spell. Use it wisely. How do we cast it again? M. What is our character name? Uh. Grinskull. Hi, I'm Grinskull. Here we go. Alright, so um, actually similar to uh, what we just saw in terms of the layout of the... Uh, we just saw it being the last video I posted that was from... Uh, well, a teenager, Gen, which was the last, uh, last non-main game we're playing game I put up. Uh, what was that called? That was uh, ODE, One Day Roguelike. Um... There were some mistakes in that, by the way. I noticed it under stats, it had constitution. It didn't have strength in the last one. Yeah, though you had those two stats. Um, also, something I didn't mention in that, just while I'm thinking of it, uh, the layout of the dungeons was completely... It look, I started to realize it looked like rogue, like a rogue-style um, generation of dungeons, and it confirmed that when I read it somewhere online. So there you go. We are Grinskull. We start with 10 hit points out of 10, apparently. Let's see if that's accurate this time. General speed, 0. 5 strength, 5 will willpower, I'm guessing. Blows per round one. We do one damage. We have an armor class of zero. We have no souls of any kind. Okay, I got it. Press enter. Um, more. <laughs> what the hell is this place? Where am I? Why is this guy alive? Is, is me the guy? Am I the, the this guy? Am I the red at or the black at? I'm going to guess I'm the red at. I'm going to guess he's... I'm going to guess the black at is the necromancer standing at the center of his circle his summoning circle, and I'm, like, inside it, and I'm going to eat him. Because I'm the Necromancer hideout. That's my guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try attacking to the southwest. Uh, see, I moved southwest, and so did the Black At, so I don't know if I moved southwest and he ran, or if I'm the Black... I'm going to try moving northeast and see what happens. No, I'm the Black At. The inexperienced Necromancer hits you. You hit him. Let's hope I can kill him. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, let me turn this down a bit. It's a little loud. All right, I'm digging it. Yeah, and whatever comes out. Let me get back in my thing. Can I fuck it up? Sorry. Sorry, I'm not used to promptly um. Right there. Let's try that. Was not anticipating this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Your adventure. Yeah, I'm a feeling that I'm... I don't have a light source, do I? Inventory. Nothing. The key you just pressed is not currently used. No, we don't need an inventory. We're going to stumble around in the dark. I'm going to feel my way across these walls. Let me turn this down in my ears a bit, because... I'm not born to be deaf. Oh, a book. You start reading. Shit, I stepped on a book. 
The one that was used to summon me. More. Bone to be wow. 1.09 file. Black book text. This book describes the summoning that brought you here. Circle must be correctly drawn. Looks like he forgot about this part. <laughs> Spell will last 48 hours. Uh oh. He was not such a fool after all. It looks like if you want to continue on your world domination scheme, you have to find a way to stay permanently. It seems the book also speaks of a wizard living in town that is much more powerful than the necromancer. He might now. That's awesome. Let's read this other book to the south of us. There's a black book here. Can we get it? Nope. You don't have an inventory. Can we read it? No, it's just like, maybe that's both pages of the open book? I don't know. We can't seem to do anything with it. What is he? L? That is a goblin, a weakling, level 1. How are we doing for health? Alright, we can, we can afford to kill him a little bit. And then we're going to have to uh, heal ourselves at some point. We slew him. You absorb a soul. So we have some. How do we... Uh, sorry, I'm just going to press this. Uh, use souls to gain new abilities. Let's try, let's try capital G. So we can gain any of these. Blood grab. Max level 1. Current level 0. Cost 10 souls. Use cost is 1 soul. Blood. Everybody loves blood. But with this ability, sucking blood becomes more than just a fun activity. It can help sustain your body. This is a ranged attack that apparently heals us, is my guess. Death armor. The higher your death armor ability, the harder it is for your victims to harm you. I like that. Death touch. The higher your death touch ability is the more dark energies you channel with each of your melee attacks, giving them more power. So it makes me do more damage with my touch. Nether blast. So specifically cost, we need demonic souls. We don't have those, I'm guessing. Uh, we'll take a look in a second, but just so we know what it is. Concentrate the power of the souls into a gigantic explosion of dark energy, sapping the life of all the living around you and healing undeads around you and yourself. Interesting. Raise dead. With this ability, you can form a soul into a temporary mindless undead to fight for you to, well, the death. Undeath. One. The higher your undeath ability, the harder you become. More hit points. Undeath. Two. Through subtle tortures, you can force a soul to sacrifice itself in a blast of dark energies, reconstructing your body. In short, it heals you. Um, that's good. The healing is proportional to your maximum HP. I'm going to take Death Armor first if I can. Do I just press Enter, maybe? Yep. I wonder if I can... I, oh, it's got levels. We can make it go higher. Let's take um, Undeath as well. Some passive stuff here. How many we got left? We got one soul left. Let's take Unhealth. We already have it. I'm um, sorry. Let's take a. Uh, let's just take Death Touch, our, our basic melee ability. Okay, let's hit Escape. And yes, all our souls are gone. We used those to make ourselves tougher. We have 13 health. We might have to cast a healing spell very soon. Uh, let's try that right now. Oh, maybe it takes a soul. We didn't save any souls to do it. So, because we don't have a soul to cast on to cast healing, we can't uh, we can't do it. I wonder if it's a pre-made map or if it's um. Or if it's not. <laughs> I guess it's the alternative. <laughs> or if it's procedurally generated. There's another goblin. We can take him. Especially with our new power. You're not getting away from me, sir. Stopped opening that door, you're dead. I got you and splattered your blood on the wall. I absorb a soul. Let's cast fucking healing. M. A. Unhealth. Proportional. Two ends. You feel much better. How much better? Ooh, much better. You consume the soul and use the dark energies to restore your body. We're going to do that periodically. I like this game, guys. This is fucking great. Good job, Dark God. This is fucking awesome. Makes me want to experiment with the T engine. <laughs> the key just presses... Oh, I was trying to pause. I guess you can't pause. I'm going to check in a minute if there's a pass your turn button. You're dead. Let's gain a new ability. Eh, let's save it. Let's save that one first. And then we'll gain a new ability shortly. If it, uh, if it seems prudent. I don't know why the, like some of the walls aren't showing up. I, I gotta admit that kind of bugs me. For some reason, the outer walls don't show up unless you bump into them. You feel a wall blocking your way. Yeah, but why don't I see it? Why is that exact wall dark? Is it the magic of the necromancer's tower? Or is it just a weird bug? Slow down. When you hit that invisible wall, you're dead. See? We got a soul. We can afford. We can afford. We can afford to improve ourselves a bit. Let's um. Let's try blood grab and see if oh, it's a ranged attack. Okay. It would cost us a soul, but it would do damage to a person and uh, give us some health back. 
Or we have two. Sp we could we could like make our death armor higher. Let's do that. All right, it'd be harder for them to hurt us. We don't have any healing ability anymore. We just used our last soul. Hopefully, we get one soon. But at least our armor class went up. So good to know the T-Engine supports music, it supports, um, at the very least, kind of MIDI music. Is this MIDI music? Hard to tell, to be honest. Right, we're going to cast healing right now. M. Unhealth. I feel fucking great. I'm jazzed by this, not just, uh, I guess we're going up. Um, not just because, uh, actually, I'm, I really think it's a fun game. But that's not the part that intrigues me most. It's the, it's the fact that this is this T-Engine thing. That it feels like, I think there were a lot of modules made by various people. I've done some experiments with the Wayback Machine, and when I've gone to certain sites uh, associated with Tome, um, with, with old Tome, there are all these T-Engine games, it looks like. Um, so it feels like we just opened up a fucking Pandora's box of... Of T engine goodness. Uh, let's go, I guess, up. Right? We're not going down. I don't see any up down thing. I guess we're going up. We're in Necromancer Hideout 5. You enter the next area. Apparently, you have to get out of the. Oh, great. More goblins. But to get out of the Necromancer's Hideout and maybe get to town and find this wizard who knows how to make us stay alive for more than two days. An interesting quest, too. It's a. Oh, I keep pressing. Uh... Is there a. Oh, we have four souls. How do we get that? Is there a... Yeah, it says 5 is a... It claims that 5 is a uh, legitimate... Let's try putting the Nemlock on, see if it makes a difference. Nemlock on is still... You know, direction... Direction? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to take the Nemlock off in a second, because I don't know what the hell is talking about the direction. Nemlock off. 5 doesn't seem to work to pass your turn. Uh, minor gripe, but letting uh, Dark God know that, hey, your game you made... Uh, I guess 13 years ago now. Has a slight absence in it. Uh, it's more death armor. I wouldn't be so goddamn armored up. People would be like, I'm not touching that dude. Can't do any more of it, though. And my basic uh, attack as well. Alright, we still have two souls left for healing for the time being. We still have enough to actually to G. We're going to gain un better undeath. Nope, we're not gonna. Listen, when we have one more soul, we will. Get more, more health. What are these things that I keep killing? Oh, townspeople. Oh, it's a goblin archer. Okay. Let's close on him. He fucking shot us. I don't like that, sir. That's what I do to people I don't like. Alright, I'm gonna gain more undeath. Alright. We can get 40 health if we can get... Uh... Let's do it right now. Let's cast unhealth. You feel like a million bucks, a.k.a. 40 health. Die, Archer. Well, that wasn't an Archer. That'd be a long way to... Fuck, I keep pressing 5 to pause and it doesn't work. One little mistake in the game. It's like the fly in my ointment. Or the fly in my grave. The fly in my embalming fluid. Back here, you little bitch. You're dead. You're dead. You're a bum. Um, <laughs> we got seven, eh? Armor up. My bones are not brittle. My bones are like fucking made of stone. Now I do know when we played ODE. There was a an apparent flaw. Like I, uh, I, qu I quit that one game, and then when I tried to load it again, the Miralgrin game. It just kept making me start a new game. So, um, provided my hands will take it. Uh, when it comes time to stop this, if, assuming we're still alive in ten minutes, uh, which is a grand assumption. We don't know anything about this game, but assuming it's true, let's cast uh, on health. 
Get back 20 right now. Um, assuming that's true, I probably would just uh, you know, pause the recording or stop the recording and then keep you know, start the recording again and keep playing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna quit the game because I don't want to risk. Um, I don't risk losing it. I may do an experiment afterwards in the final video. If I'll, I'll do an experiment to see if uh, if the save game works because I just don't know if it does. So I guess that's what I'm saying is I'm not 100 percent certain the save game function will work. In case it doesn't, oh fuck you! Will he come to me? Yep. Stupid goblin. Um. I recognize this music may get annoying for some. <laughs> I'm not going to stop it yet. I could always. I don't think you can stop it in game. I imagine it's quiet for you. I hope to God it's quiet for you. Um. If it's not, I don't know if you can stop it, but I can always, uh. If it starts, if it starts to grate on me, even quiet in my ears, I will uh, instead of just turning it down in my ears, I will lower it off entirely at the the bottom in terms of the recording, so you don't have to listen to it. But I do want to see if if any new music pops up. You know, I doubt it will, given the title of the game. I applaud, incidentally, Dark God. I applaud your use of this music. I mean, I, don't, I doubt it was licensed, but I don't much care because it's just a a seven-day roguelike that's meant to entertain a few. I don't think that's a big deal. I'm a bit more liberal with my copyright law than some, though, perhaps. This level is filled with blood! While this is a very pleasant sight, you wonder why. I do. I wonder why. What's this thing? These books again? Interesting book here. This book is the tale of that mad necromancer and a few notes about this world. This could be useful. You start reading. Bone to be wild, blah, blah, blah. The book is badly damaged. Probably all this blood around here. You cannot read it all. Dot, 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 dot. Silly fools. Not, not silly fools, pardon me. Silly fools. They do not understand what I am doing here. The undeads can help us to, <laughs> to defend from our enemies. I think, the un I think the plural of undead is undead. No, just a minor note. Uh, defend from our enemies. I am sure of that. But that old fool of a wizard refuses to dable in the art. Locked in his tower, he does not see the world as I do. So my only choice is to try... This becomes unreadable again. For my family, my daughter and her mom... Her ma? Her mom? Her mother? Her mohair sweater? I don't know. This becomes unreadable again. Unreadable. There's a word that I mispronounce constantly. Don't know why the fuck I think it should be readable. That's the stupidest thing I've ever said. Today, Nerfield got attacked again. Had they let me summon undeads to our side, we might have had a chance. But no, they preferred to lose half the city to the invaders. Well, the situation seems quite chaotic around here. This is, this is surely a perfect moment to investigate that wizard's tower. In order to conquer this world, you will need more than a rusted scythe and a few badly put together bones. Badly put together? Yeah, defense four, man. All right, we're done. That's awesome. I fucking love these books. The library of that foolish necromancer. It seems filled with useless spells. Fucking useless. Dumbass necromancer. Let's just check them all, just in case. I, d I doubt there's anything else. Alright. I'm gonna assume it's all useless spells. Uh-oh. What is that? I'm gonna guess a demon of some sort. Look. A crazed imp. A level 3 crazed imp. I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need a spell that hits from a distance soon. For now, let's just try and pummel him. Okay, we got a demonic soul. I think we better fucking heal ourselves. Hey. What is this? Can't look to the... I don't know what the colon is. I can't look at it. Goblin weakling. I don't mind them. Matter of fact, I like them. Can I get this? You can't, you can't get anything. Gotta remember that. I like this man. It's different. I know I, I go on and on about how I like traditional roguelikes, but I also like different roguelikes. And this is still pretty fucking traditional, but a neat twist. No inventory. You're undead. Absorbing souls. Yeah, man. I like it a lot. Good job. Good prize. Nothing up here. But I wish the outer walls would show up. Bugs me that they don't. And... Uh, it bugs me that the five key doesn't work. Those are my only two. Those are my two flies in my ointment. 
Nothing worse than fly-ridden ointment. Fuck. All right, at least he can't get us from a distance. All right, we got him. He drops a colon, but we don't know what that is. Apparently nothing we have to worry about. We have some demonic souls now. Let's take a look at our... Uh, let's press Shift-G. What do we need demonic souls for? We get Nether Blast. Concentrate the power of the souls. Oh, it costs us to cast it once. No, no, to get this. Okay. Using it costs two souls and one demonic soul. Getting it in the first place costs four souls and two demonic souls. Concentrate the power of the souls into a gigantic explosion of dark energy, sapping the life of all the living around you and healing undeads around you and yourself. Um, I don't know, man. That's a lot of fucking money. Especially if you're casting it all the time. Get an ally. I don't know, man. Yeah. That's what I'm all about. Let's not take anything else right now, though. Let's uh, save, uh... We're gonna, get, we're gonna get the basics going a little bit better, and then we'll start worrying about, uh... Awesome mega, mega-powered... Well, fuck me. Whoa. I don't know, guys. Fuck. M. A. Thank God we saved that. Those imps are gonna show up and get me while I'm killing this orc. M. A. Woo! What if I can get in there from a different angle? Are they smart enough to avoid me, unlike the goblin archer? Fuck you! I can't, I can't pause. M.A. M.A. Jesus Christ. I'm chewing through my healing spells. Alright, we got him. <sighs> I think we're... Well, I'm gonna do nothing for the moment. So we're MA one more time. I know I don't need quite enough to merit that. Yeah, it's interesting that the imps have green blood. <laughs> I think they do in uh, Caverns of Zeskazian too as well, now I think about it. Fuck. Okay, I got one of them. I absorb a demonic soul. Where'd the other guy go? There he is. Get back here. Got him. All right, first things first. M.A. There's no first things first. There's just the one thing. I don't have enough spells or souls to do really anything else. I have a lot of demonic souls, but I need, uh, I need some basic souls as well. That's very cool, those different uh, sort of units of currency in terms of upgrading your character. Fuck off. Can I do that? Yes. I was buying this key to an action. Yes. You've chosen to bind a key to an action. The escape key and the original button will stop the binding at any time. You may unbind any bound keys by pressing at. Press enter, then perform the action you wish bound. Enter. Five. Binding cancel. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem to work. That's all. I, mean, I don't mean that binding doesn't work. I'm sure it would. It's just I'm trying to bind the five key to the five key, and the five key doesn't actually do anything yet. It's all well and good to kill those guys, but I need um I need some fucking goblins. I need basic souls. As it is, I keep using all the basic souls to heal myself. I guess I don't do it quite yet. I've got four extra hit points beyond what I need to heal myself. I see a Mr. Room back there. This level is a bit tougher than the first, isn't it? Son of a bitch. You get over here, goblin. Alright. I have enough to, uh... M.A. Yep. Let's G something. G, I'd like something. Blood grab, maybe? At least I could get people from a distance then, right? You know? Or get my healing spell up. Mm. Can't do that. Raise Deb might be useful. I'm sure it would be, I'm just saying. Well, I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just kill them faster. Death Touch. We have no healing spells for the moment. I'm sorry, I know this is probably bad playing. I should be... <clears throat> perhaps applying more strategy than I want to be tougher. But... Fuck, 
Five doesn't work. Space work? Space might. Let's try that. Let's try this. Yes, what, what do you want to bind it to? Enter, then space. Now when I press five, it doesn't do anything. Fuck you. I'm not sure if five's doing anything. If we saw an enemy, I could tell, but I don't want to test it by looking at an enemy. I don't have a distance strike ability. Whoa, I went too far. It almost cost me. Well, it did cost me, but it almost cost me more than it did. I was going to those few little rooms we left behind. We're at the 30 minute mark, man. Son of a bitch. Um, I'm having fun. I'm going to stop recording after we explore this level. Then I'm going to start recording again and continue playing. For at least one more episode. Then I really... Ah, fuck. I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to quit and save, that's all. It's because of our experience with ODE where it seemed like it was not quite working. Which may not be true. Maybe it does work. I don't know. But it didn't seem like it was. Okay. Let's go to the stairs. Whereupon, I will stop recording and then start recording. The convenient thing about recording this right now as well, right after we recorded the uh, ODE thing, is that um, my window's already set up to record a screen of exactly this size. Nice little coincidence. Up staircase. Let's go up the up staircase to enter the next area. Does this stupid cave never ends? Um, well, this recording does. I'll be back in a second.